a great win for us. Notice I didn't say it was a pretty win, but I did say it was a great win. Um, just really proud of the guys. Uh, first and foremost, though, college basketball will put you in a position to be in a lot of relationships. And I will be forever indebted to and be a better man. This program will be better because of Tyler Witts. And the season's not over. Um, but, you know, that young man went through some adversity this year by not, you know, getting the minutes that he wanted. It hasn't changed who he is as a person. In fact, I think he's going to be a better person for it. In our program, we talk about husbands, fathers, employees, employers, and, and um, Tyler Witts is going to be terrific at all four of those. Take questions. Got a little interesting there. Yeah, it did. That's for sure. We want to keep the stand, uh, fans around, sell more concessions, and do those things. No, I just – we talk about, like, experience, and the only way you – um, gain experience is by going through experiences and you, you could just see we we have a bunch of pups in a lot of positions um, important positions that they have to learn through some things and um, you know credit Eric he put his team in position to, to make that comeback uh, and, and I just got to do a better job of getting our guys a little bit organized and a little bit more poised uh, but we'd be better for this experience. What, what about that full court pressure gave you guys the, the difficulties that it did? I, I just think we we don't understand that you know, you fight pressure with pressure and we you attack it. We got so passive against it. We would catch and hold, and then the trap would get to us, and then we would try to you know split the trap. Just things like that. You need to catch, face, and attack. Make them pay. You know, buys in basketball, we've always welcomed space on the floor. That's what pressure. That's what pressure is. And we just you know guys like Dez and Malik and Jerry, so those those three in particular, they haven't been in those spots a lot. Um, and, and you can simulate certain things, but when there's a crowd full of people and there's a different team and they're giving you a different look than maybe you've worked on, um, you know, it, it rattled us for a little bit, no question. But at the end of the day, uh, we're going to enjoy this two-point victory. Was it pretty close to what you feel? I mean, it was a COVID sellout, but people were hanging on the railings. This had to feel just about normal. Yeah, it felt great. And I, I'm just looking just under 2,800, and, and you would have told me, and I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, Matt, but it felt like there was over 5,000 in here. You know, um, it was terrific. And, and you know, we, we've talked all along. I remember going back to and sitting with Todd, and we talked in July about, you know, it's a mulligan year and, and just some things. But it, it sure doesn't feel like that right now. You know, you're in the heart of a conference race. you got a, a packed atmosphere. It feels really, really good. And, and it's – I feel good saying that because there hasn't been a lot of really, really good moments or there hasn't been a lot of joy in the game because of the restrictions COVID's put on us. We had a big lead. They fought back. Um, but, you know, we were able to learn from our mistakes yesterday, I guess, and came out on top. Yeah, what was it about that full court pressure that just drove you guys nuts? Um, it just, they sped us up and um, you know, one of our staples of our program is, you know, patience and poise. And for a stretch in that second half, we were not playing with any poise or any patience. So um, we'll watch film on that and, and be better next time. What is it about these guys? I mean, Jenkins doing your half-court bomb last night, this stuff. I mean, why, why won't these guys just go down? I mean, it's just two, two really good teams competing. And, uh, you know, when you have two really good teams and, and only one team can win, um, you know, I mean, we're going to go down to the wire. And um, like we saw last night, they got they got us, and, and we were able to come back tonight and get, get a victory. Rock, uh, just describe your emotions when uh, Wits hits that little hook shot to, to kick things off. I mean, that dude, um, obviously, is his roommate. Um, he's one of my best friends. Um, you know, just to see him being able to get the start, you know, seeing that tribute video, I know it meant a lot for him. But you know, I was I was close to tears out there, seeing him be happy with all of us and, and everything, like, everything like that. That that kid has done so much for this program and so much for each one of our players uh, individually. That um, there's no way we can ever rethank him for what he's done. T. Witts is a guy. He's a guy. Can, can you just describe like I mean, obviously COVID kind of handicapped, if you will, but this was a sell and people were leaning on the Raptors. I mean. Just the energy, not only with Tyler, but just what was the feeling like tonight? It's like regular basketball, like a regular sold-out home game. Um, can't thank Bison Nation enough for that. You can obviously tell when you walk into a, um, a rivalry game against South Dakota State and, and the, the whole stands are packed. Um, you love that feeling, and, and they were awesome tonight, so so we thank them. That was really our last home game. It was great. Danny got you the 22-point lead. Uh, just aggressiveness on offense. You know, yesterday we settled a lot, 
And today we focus on, you know, getting downhill first, and then that opens up um, more open looks from three. Um, we, we shot it, obviously, a lot better today and executed better. Rocky, what is it about Shireman? I think Coach, in the pre, you know, this week press conference called him unassuming. You know, he's got, he's got the headband, wears, wears the T-shirt, but um, he gave them 77 and a half minutes of, of, of basketball this weekend. And a lot of them were good minutes, and obviously last night he hit that, that bomb. I mean, what, what is so difficult about him to defend? Um, you know, him and Aaron's are both – uh, super patient, you know. They play within themselves. They're they're obviously super talented and super skilled, but um, you can't speed them up in anything they do on the offensive end. Um, and they they get to their spots and, and they take the shots that they want to and find the guys that they need to. And um, a lot of credit to those two players. Robbie, make, make sure you still got a chance at a regular season title here. Um, I mean, just describe that. Um, it's huge. You know, obviously after losing the one last night, um, it hurt, but. Um, big picture is in March. You know we're playing for for March and playing to go to the tournament. So um, to see what we have ahead of us, we got two games in Vermilion, and uh, we get those two, and we'll see um, where fate puts us. Rocky, we talked this week about your, your excellence on Friday and struggle on Saturday. How does the flip flop feel so far? Um, still wish we would have got both of them, <laughs> um, but you know one on one on the weekend. We're going to go into it like we went into every other weekend. We've lost a game. You know, learn from it, get better, and, and next time we hit the court, we're going to be better for it. This was such a good answer right there. Was that for me, too? Uh, yeah, what he, said, what, he said. what he said. Here he goes. You go ahead. I'm not going to ask that. All credit to Coach for that. Thanks, guys.